Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock Sewing and Long Arm Machines. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Aurafil, Aurafil Italian Thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Free Spirit, a new generation of creative and playful fabrics perfect for fashions, home decor, quilting, crafting, and more. Hovel Sewing, cut it close with hovels. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Thermoweb, manufacturer of heat and bond adhesives and new Lux interfacings, proudly made in the USA. Hi, you're watching Quilty, and this is a This Is My Quilt episode with Tisha Nagel. Tisha Nagel, hello. Hello. You are like, you're so sparkly. Ooh, thanks. You have a sparkly personality. Do I you, try. Do you get told that all the time? Uh, I've, kind of, yeah. You're yeah. just sort of ebullient and like, just, I don't know, I, I like being around you. Basically, okay. I'm trying to ask you out on a friend date. Sometime we should go out on a friend date. Okay, well, let's go, let's, let's. I hear there's good Mexican food around. So there is. So there we should is. go have some chips, salsa, and totally adult beverages. I think that's a fine idea. Or okay. you can go to Indianapolis or Indiana, where yeah. you live, yeah. and do beer, right? Because yes. there's lots of good beer in Indiana. We were talking about that. Yes. Awesome. So before we do that, let's talk about the quilt that we have today. Okay. Um, this quilt has, aside from being gorgeous, it has a pretty great story. So tell yes. me what this quilt is all about. So, um, this quilt is a state fair entry from the Indiana State Fair cool. last year um, as part of the State Fair Sewing Challenge with the French Seam, which is a local quilt shop slash more fine fabrics oh. um, for quilters and for sewists. Okay, sure. So um, fairly new store in the last couple of years, and mm -hmm. she's really big into doing challenges and getting people to think outside the box. Cool. Um, so I created a quilt just out of um, simple. Mm -hmm. I love simple strips, squares, rectangles, easy peasy. Mm -hmm. um, and then I quilted it and put it in the state fair, but didn't win. She didn't win, but um, that's okay because, yeah. you know, it's one person's opinion. And the state fair ladies, you know, they really are sticklers about hand turn binding, and yeah. you did machine. I did machine. But there was a reason why you did that. There is. Tell me. Um, so this quilt, um, while I was making and creating and designing, my friend was actually diagnosed with Hodgkin's lymphoma, mm -hmm. um, stage one. And so she underwent um, chemo and radiation a week after the State Fair Challenge. And like, this, this friend is your age, and this is your, you said your shenanigans friend? Yes. Yeah, so big bummer. Yeah, Bad. and first person like in my life that's actually had the big C Gross. and um, just, I didn't know what to do. And what do quilters do when we don't know what to do? We make a quilt. So I made her this quilt to take to chemo, to radiation, and to just kind of have to snuggle with when she wasn't feeling so well. So machine bound it because, well, that's what you do. Yeah. Because she's going to, you don't know what's going to happen right. if she gets sick or anything like that. Yeah, so. you got to wash it, especially if you're going to give a quilt to somebody who's going to be in a hospital. It's not just them that might get the quilt dirty. If a quilt goes into a hospital, you're going to want to wash that quilt. I mean, yeah. hospitals are kind of dirty, actually. Yeah. Unfortunately, uh, that's true. Yeah. Um, so so you also quilted this quilt yourself. which I did. Heather Kenyon, our intern and uh, friend of Quilty, we were like, oh, you did? You you did it on your home machine? Mm -hmm. This is I amazingly did that good. I my home machine. I have a one of the brother metal machines. Sure. And I laid it all out on the floor and marked it at an inch and a half. And it's in a light gray thread. Um, and I... Did it? You it did a great job. Took I, it was a lot of arm work. It it's was, a workout. It really was. Mm -hmm. I was pretty sore for a few days afterwards. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's a whole body process. The light gray thread is a really interesting thing to note because from from where you all are seeing this quilt, you can really tell the quilting lines, and you would see them anyway. But I guarantee that you're seeing them a little bit more. You can they're a little bit more defined because it's light. It's gray against all that white, so it's yeah. making it pop. And the backs in the back of it's all gray too. So that kind of um, and gray is kind of one of my colors. Yeah. Gray. Yeah. yeah. Right gray and white um, and black, mm -hmm. like signature go-to. Like there's probably gray, white, or black as a prominent color in all of my projects. Yeah, and probably all in your outfits too, right? Like you oh. tend to dress how you sew. 
Yes. It's, it's a lot of the modern quilt thing. A lot of that has to do with decor and yes. wardrobe. I mean, we're making quilts, uh, the modern quilters, whether you consider yourself one or not. I mean, my, my quilts look like clothes that I own. Yeah. It's red, it's black, lots of crazy prints, you know. Yeah, I play a lot in solids yeah. and beauty colors and pops. Right. Because I usually wear, you know, big giant infinity scarves, mm -hmm. but I didn't figure I'd wear that today. Well, so. maybe not. Yeah. But, but so there's there's one little friend we have. So oh, you yeah. have, so you're, you have a child. Yes, I do. <laughs> um, his name is Porter. He's a year old. He's just, he's awesome. Like, he learned to stand this week. So, oh, cool. Congratulations. Um, thanks. And he has a connection with this quilt yes. and with your friend. Yes. So my friend, Melissa, mm -hmm. um, is huge into shenanigans and having fun and just being awesome and my son loves her like he she picks him up from daycare when we're busy and mm -hmm. she they hang out and they play and um he on his first birthday she gave him her bear that she got when she finished treatment awesome um so it's gonna go in his room mm -hmm. but i thought it was very fitting to share the bear along with the quilts yes. which i now have a reminder of her all day and she now has a reminder of me that is pretty slick. Yeah. Works out pretty good. I'm glad your friend is doing better. So glad she's doing better. Yeah, she's awesome. Like, good. she's great. Um, she's um, back to normal. We went to a wedding in February. She's the first time she went topless, Ooh. meaning no wig, no hat, cool. anything like that. It was great. Awesome. She's, she's back to shenanigan level. Good. And uh, the last thing I wanted to ask you about today is that you have, you, you have a, a grown-up job, but you also have a little side job that uses your quilting and sewing skills. Tell yes. me about Growler Girls. Okay, so um, while I was pregnant, uh, my, my friend and I decided that um, we needed to carry our growlers. Well, not me. And what is a growler for those okay. who don't know? So a growler is like a big jug that a lot of breweries let you carry out beer with. Okay. Um, usually they're brown and not very pretty. And you either take them in and coolers and all of this. Mm -hmm. And what we were finding was happening um, was that through, through hours of research. Yes. Um, was that... We were going to breweries and then going to dinner, mm -hmm. and then the bags or your um, growlers would just sit in the back and get warm. Ew. And <sighs> there yeah. was there was a solution that needed to right. be implemented. So we started just creating at things and um, had a bunch of um, Insel Bright batting mm -hmm. and canvas sitting around just mm -hmm. in my stash, of, mm -hmm. course. of course. And we designed a growler bag. So it's insulated, you know, keep your growler um, cold for like four to six hours. And it's stylish and we upcycle seat belts and t-shirts and um, vintage sheets and other things to kind of go with it. So that's pretty cool. I get to combine two of my passions in one and um, it's a lot of fun. We get to go to fun, fun events and people are really excited about it. We do guy lines and girl lines. And, cool, cool. Yeah. Growler girls. We'll get the website up there too if you, for all your growler needs. And you know, it sounds like quilters and beer, there's there's crossover here. There, Clearly there, there's crossover. There really is. There really is. So. Well, thank you, Tisha, so much. This is a thank beautiful you. story about your quilt. And I, I do love your, you know, sparkly personality that fits, fits in here on Quilty. We'll see you next time. And uh, thanks for all the stories about your lovely quilts. And if you're in the Chicagoland area, let us know, because we'll maybe feature you on the episode coming up in the future. Bye. Quilty is brought to you by Baby Lock Sewing and Long Arm Machines. Baby Lock, for the love of sewing. Aurifil, Aurifil Italian Thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Free Spirit, a new generation of creative and playful fabrics perfect for fashions, home decor, quilting, crafting, and more. Hovel Sewing, cut it close with hovels. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Thermoweb, manufacturer of heat and bond adhesives and new Lux interfacings, proudly made in the USA.